Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm coming at you guys with a special announcement. I'm pregnant and this is not your, I guess, average pregnancy because this is a pregnancy announcement after experiencing two miscarriages in a row. And I thought that maybe I could talk about this a little bit because, well, miscarriages are fairly common amongst women and I feel like it's a topic that's not really discussed for a lot of reasons um, and you know I just think that sharing my story could potentially help other people cope with these miscarriages or maybe just kind of relate and seek a little bit of comfort knowing the fact that I did experience two miscarriages over the course of seven months of trying to conceive and we were able to now become pregnant and I am now 22 weeks along and I have a healthy pregnancy and everything is going well. So I hope that this video can ease your mind and give you guys hope in the future if you have a similar story to mine. Now just to get into it, I want to talk a little bit about my miscarriages. The first one that I experienced was very, very early on. I guess you can kind of call it a, a chemical pregnancy because I was six weeks and um, the symptoms was really just bleeding and you know it was a little upsetting obviously when you're trying to have a baby and you miscarry for the first time it's very emotional and you run through a lot of different thoughts in your head and frustration worry you know a little anger and then once your body feels like it's healed and you're ready to try again it's even harder to cope with a second miscarriage in my opinion from my experience and the second miscarriage was actually a lot harder to take than the first one because it was starting to feel like a pattern and um, with that being said it did also occur later on in the pregnancy I was 10 weeks when I miscarried now the baby actually stopped developing at six weeks but my body did not miscarry until the 10th week and this miscarriage was very painful um, the cramps were a lot more intense than my first miscarriage um, I was having really bad contractions so much so that I couldn't walk I was having difficulty breathing so I called my husband at work it was in the middle of the day I was looking after our son because I am a stay-at-home mom and I told him listen babe you gotta come home like I'm not doing well and I went to the emergency and they performed an abortion um, and kind of helped me uh, kind of have the miscarriage like help it progress if you know what I mean and um, the reason why I guess they decided to do that approach is because I was this is TMI but if you're watching this you probably experienced something similar and or you know so I was actually clotting every two minutes and I am not exaggerating every two minutes massive clots massive clots it was terrifying um, and it just it just kept coming out just kept coming out and and so it was very worrisome to me and so um, that mixed with the pain I was like I really have to go in and um, there was a piece of tissue that was that was kind of stuck up there so they had to go in and basically like clean me out and uh, what was really um, difficult and if you experience something similar just be mindful that if you decide to get lab work done and have tests done after you miscarry they will probably include the gender of your baby and I found out that the baby that I had miscarried was going to be a boy and when I read that it was it was um it was upsetting I was a little bit um, upset with the doctors for including that or not kind of get a warning me of what exactly would be included in that um, those lab tests I figured it would just let me know if there was something abnormal which there wasn't it was just one of those freak things that happen to most women one in four if I'm correct 
and um, yeah, unfortunately, it includes sometimes that the sex of the baby, and yes, ours was a boy, so that was uh, another kind of grieving process trying to get over that. Uh, but besides that, um, they had me on some medicine, performed that. If you guys want more details about what I went through at the hospital, I can probably make a separate video, but I just don't want it to get too long. Um, so yeah, that's what we, after that um, miscarriage, I think we waited about four months before we started trying again. And that's because my body and my mind just really wasn't ready uh, to go through that again. And honestly, when we found out we were pregnant uh, for the third time, um, you know, for that in that trial period, we um, I wasn't super excited. I was very scared and very nervous because after experiencing two miscarriages, it's like, well, why wouldn't I have a third? And usually from what I've been told from my doctor is that if you have a third miscarriage, they consider that a a pattern and so they will do further testing to see if there is something seriously wrong with your husband or you that might require you know not treatment but you to kind of get pregnant with help you know I don't know how to word that but you know what I mean so luckily we were able to conceive and now, like I said, I am 22 weeks pregnant after going through those few months of just crap. And so, and it's healthy. Everyone, everything is healthy. He's healthy. He's a baby boy. Um, I did my anatomy scan a couple of weeks ago. All the measurements are fine. And um, I'm going to post a separate video with my 20 week um, bump state, I guess, and share that with you guys. So if you have any questions, then go ahead and leave that in the comment section below if you guys um, want me to go into detail or about a specific topic or a specific part of this story, then again, you can also leave that in the comment section below and I would love to get back to you guys. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and good luck and I really hope that the one thing you can take from this video is that if you are someone that has been through two miscarriages, don't give up hope. It is still possible to conceive and have a healthy pregnancy as crappy as the situation might be, as crappy as you may feel, it is possible and who knows, you can be next. So yeah, good luck guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.